Intracapsular Femoral Neck Fractures Closed Reduction. This video has been produced from a book source. We would like to thank editor Peter V. Giannoudis. You can find citation below. Citation, Giannoudis Peter V. 2020. Fracture Reduction and Fixation Techniques, Spine, Pelvis and Lower Extremity. Fracture Reduction and Fixation Techniques. Male, 52 years old, falls from height, closed and isolated injury of the left hip, displaced intracapsular femoral neck fracture of the left femur, figure. Displaced femoral neck fracture in a 52-year-old male patient. Preoperative plan, traction table with indirect reduction, reduction technique, Whitman maneuver, reduction control with C-arm, fixation with three 7.3 mm cannulated screws. Patient set up in the theater, figure. Patient is positioned supine in the traction table, Care should be taken to level the pelvis. A small bolster is positioned on the left side of the patient to curve the upper body to the contralateral side. The well right side leg is abducted. Reduction maneuver figure longitudinal traction, slight abduction, internal rotation. C arm positioning figure. C arm for the AP view is positioned between the legs of the patient and centered in the femoral neck. A. For the lateral view, the C arm is rotated around the hip to get a perfect lateral view of the femoral neck. B. Reduction control. For the reduction control, we use three different methods to assess the quality of the reduction. A. Garden index, angle between the primary compressed trabecula and the medial cortex of the femur should be 160 degree in the AP view and 180 degree in the lateral view. Figure B. Lowell lines. The lines of the femoral neck contour should be smooth without a break or sharp. Angles. Fig 14.5. C. Reduction of the medial cortex. The medial cortex of the femoral neck should be anatomically reduced. It is not acceptable when the lateral fragment is cranial to the medial fragment. Figure See arm control image showing the garden index. See arm control image showing the lower lines in the AP and lateral view. See arm control image showing the reduction of the medial cortex. Skin incision. The skin incision is done in line with the midline of the femoral shaft on the lateral view starting at the level of the lesser trochanter, LT, for about 4 cm distally, blue dotted line. Figure. Implant insertion. We start with the two superior guide wires, one anterior and one posterior, figure. After that, we insert the third guide wire close to the calcar on the AP view and between the two superior on the lateral view, figure. See arm image of the insertion of the two superior guide wires. See arm image of the insertion of the distal guide wire close to the calcar. Guide wires are sequentially exchanged by cannulated screws as follows. First the inferior screw close to the calcar, then the superior, anterior screw and final screw to be inserted is the posterior screw. 9. Final X-ray. Figure. AP and lateral X-ray of the fixation of the femoral neck fracture with three cannulated screws. Summary and tips and tricks. The treatment option in a displaced intracapsular femoral neck fracture in a young patient is reduction and fixation. Closed reduction is better for the patient and for the vitality of the femoral head, but a careful pre-op evaluation is needed to assess the ability to achieve the perfect reduction with close maneuver. Whenever we perceive that the closed reduction is possible, we prefer to use the traction table. It allows the Whitman maneuver, longitudinal traction, slight abduction and internal rotation, and facilitates to get the AP and lateral view with the C-arm. The reduction position is also guaranteed throughout the procedure. The reduction maneuver should be done only once to avoid fragmentation of the femoral neck. If a good reduction is not achieved, an open reduction should be performed. The most important phase is the reduction control. Reduction should be anatomic. There is no single method enough to assess the quality of the reduction, and thus we use three different methods to assure that the reduction is good. The superior screws should not address the superolateral part of the femoral head to avoid AVN. 
The inferior screw should be as close as possible to the calcar and never enter below the level of the lesser trochanter to prevent the sub trochanteric fracture. The anterior screw should be close to the anterior cortex and the posterior screw to the posterior cortex. The first screw to be inserted and tightened is the inferior one to compress the calcar. The last one to be tightened is the posterior screw. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Orthopedics Trauma in YouTube.